Well, for all you newbies, uh, I've been detecting uh, with my machine now since May, so we're talking 11 months. Uh, been abroad with it, pasture, ploughed land, beaches, in the water. So I can safely say that I know a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to take you through the instructions of the machine, give you an idea of what it, what the machine uh, is capable of doing with all the settings, etc. So here we go. Well, here we are, a well used uh, uh, Mine Lab Equinox 800. But here we go. So we've got on the front there, you can see a little symbol there that says, that's for power, that's for variations of light uh, on your display. And then we've got a um, Wi-Fi to Bluetooth your uh, wireless headphones. And then we've got a, a program that you wish to have there, yeah, extra to other other programs that you've got already there. So if you look on the side, there is the uh, buttons. First one being the power button, and then the light button. And on the other side is the Wi-Fi button, and then the, the program button. Which underneath your connections, as you can see, straight to the to the search head. And the other one uh, is to the wireless, uh, to the, sorry, to the um, waterproof headphones. Turn it on. And we have all that dial system, which looks complicated to a lot of people. But obviously I know what everything means. Oh, well, most things means. So here we are. Um, so that's the sensitivity. Uh, this is your sensitivity plus. It's set at, at, at dis display at uh, program one, which if you can just see is a little tree. And that has two in one program. Number one and number two. If, you look, if you're watching, there, number two. And move on to the uh, next program, which is the ploughed land one. Number one, ploughed land number two program. Then we move on to Uh, number three program which is beach and then in the water which will be number two which I set that for number two for the bit for inside the water and then the next program which I never use which is for gold nugget hunting so back to uh, pasture because we're on pasture at the moment so flick over to number one which is our number one for pasture with the little tree and the, um, the cherries so here are the settings so this is a minus and plus of or various settings that you do on the different programs. So that's your program button. That's your setting button. And that's different frequencies which I'll explain later. That's your pinpoint button. And that's your iron button which uh, which will emphasize iron around your area or not the iron on the head, whichever you want. It's a bit more complicated, which is for advanced uh, searches at a later point. But let's go through this setting. Press the cog. Everywhere you go on a new, a new bit of land or ploughed land or beach, you've got to noise cancel. That's a noise cancel, so you just press it for noise cancel, which is this one. And off it shoots off to noise cancel. You're supposed to put the detector in the air so that it uh, absorbs the um, radio waves around you which could interfere with the machine and then knocks it on the head. So, we've done that. Move on to the next level, which is ground balancing. Now, generally I put it on zero, but if you've got a lot of interference with mineralization, you might have to alter that. Never done it. No matter, uh, on different types of land, never had to do that. So, leave it well alone until you get familiar with it. Next one is volume. Well, I've got it on max. The problem with this, it needs to be a bit more, I would say, but that's maximum volume level, that. 25. Could do with a bit more, to be honest. Then we're looking at, then we're looking at threshold. Um, you're able to get to higher threshold and to go down deeper. And this is uh, your frequency levels, multi-frequency in this case. You can have it down to... Five tones, 
two tones. I like it on multi frequency to be honest, so it gives you that sharp different tones when you're actually taking on the ground. So back up we go again. Go back again. <laughs> Oh dear. And if you if you forget or move through a different setting, just you have to go to the beginning. So let's go to the beginning and find it again. Here we go. That's the ground balancing, volume, threshold, uh, and there's your tone. So you want to go back up to 50. Well, I, I do actually. Five tones. You can try in five tones if you wish, but I, I like the 50 multi frequency. Move on then the cog to the next level. So move on to this level here which is uh, like a, a, a three quarters of a clock. That's where your, your, your trash level is. So this is iron up to that point there. And then you've got like foil, which unfortunately your, your gold comes at that level. Gold comes at that level there with, with trash and small coins. Then bigger coins as you go up. And then as you go further up for big, for even bigger coins and silver heats, it's up here somewhere. Uh, it's a number readout. So you've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, which is half and half good and bad. Then you get beyond 13, 14, which is not too bad. 14, 15, 16, which is getting better with bigger, better targets. As you go further around the, the clock there to, to, to dig in definitely 16 and above. 22, 23, 24 is silver. And then down the bottom means 30, 32 is going to be like cartwheel pennies large large copper bits copper coins and large and larger uh, um silver coins uh george the third half crown will come up at 35 36. so we'll move on to the next one then so this is um speed recovery you can go uh, up to eight and i'm going to just have it at four so slow down a bit but still give you a, a decent recovery speed you can press it again and you've got the um, filtering discriminating against iron. I've got it at number six, which is fine. Uh, you can have it lower if you wish, it depends where you are. But six is fine for me. You can alter it down. And you go, all you do is alter it. Five, four, that's all you do. Same with the rest, it's just a plus or minus if you want to increase any other settings and features. So off we go with that. So we're fine, we're ready to go now and find some stuff. You'll see the little light in the corner there, a little uh, symbol there that says uh, headphone is, is, is on, that means I've got my headphones on and that will also light up when you've got the wireless connected too. Of course your battery at the top there telling you how much power. It goes on for about 18 hours on my machine and then sensitivity which is this one. I've already got it to 18 at the moment, you can go up to 20. If, you start, if it starts making a lot of uh, noise and ghost noises then you, you, br you bring it down a touch. Depends how you feel. That's all your different settings there, look, all your different programs. So I hope that helps you. Uh, it is a little bit heavier with the large search head, but not much. You get used to it. I've got used to it. Uh, it does that good and deep, but the pinpointing is not as accurate. But you just got to get used to and handling it. It does dig a bigger hole um, if you're not used to it to begin with. But as time goes on, you will locate it using all your different um, pinpointing methods. Okay, let's get on to it.